is no righteousness that makes God more a God. Your righteousness does not add anything to God. Every instruction of God is for your own good. It is that he stood from his immortal position, considered the end from the beginning, and he gave you advice as touching the things that if you don't enter, you will not have any negative end. And so man interprets the instructions of God as though God is putting stringent laws so that he can be happy. Unknown to them that there is nothing you do that adds anything to this great monarch. So he says, flee youthful lust. The average man says, God does not want us to have fun. What is the implication of entering this thing? You will find out very soon that that phone that you called phone today, it is the calibration that a demonic spirit is seeking to use to form a door, a passageway, that even when you get married eventually, I share with you the psychology and mentality of a cheat. A cheat evolved inside time. They were born innocent at some point. But then they found out that when they started participating in the ways that God said man should not enter. Stolen waters are sweet. And bread eaten in secret have pleasures. But the man that eats them does not know that a dagger will strike his heart in the darkness. And it is why he was still in it. When it will be time for that thing to be legal, there will be no fun in it again. Because he has drunk from the sweet brook that only stolen waters can give. So now he is married. Now she is married legally. His wife and all her husband not satisfied by again. Because it is the yearning of stolen waters that plunged her soul. So a man is now in a house. You will see him cheating with women that are not even as beautiful as his wife. Where is this passion coming from? He opened his soul to a polluted brook. The brook of stolen waters. And when God says stay away from this thing. It was because he knows this thing can affect your rest eventually. Now the man is saying I want to stop. You have children who are looking up to you as an example. Yet you cannot help but live like a dog. There are consequences. Oh, young and old, hear me. I beg you to God. I beg you to God. Do not consider the fame of the person that speaks to you. The wisdom I communicate with you are ancient. Ancient, endless wisdom. And when time is closed and we all live and die, the things I speak about will still be relevant. Because time did not produce this wisdom. It was the counsel of God himself. When they say stay away from certain things, the idea is to fortify you and give you an advantage. At the end of the day, the instruction is to make sure you stay within the boundaries of the household of Israel when you want to make the choice of marital settlement. But then, we throw caution to the wind. A Yahoo boy is asking you out. Our young lady is here. Our young man, a slave queen, all she has is just physical adornment. And she is bereaved of character. You can see all these signs. However, you are slain by the merchandise of a slave queen. All the makeup and the decking. Now, you know what God's will is. You go to pray and God says, I will not speak again. I, I spoke to you since. You already know who I choose for you. And you say, Lord, is it? Is it? God says, in And you say, no, it's Stacy. You know all these like like girls, they have one like name that their parents do not give them, right? It's Stacy. And then you go. You know many things we ask God for are things we already have the answer. You are hoping that God will say what you want to hear. So you go again and say, Lord, I, I play the flesh in our, in our way to your counsel. And God says, I, I am warning you, I have spoken to you on this matter. Lord, consider Stacy. Look at the way to see in the choir. And the person who is advising you is the person who knows the end from the beginning. It is within the boundaries of the institution of marriage that we find out that the, the very constitutional demand of the kingdom that says the two will become one flesh. Please say it, and I need something to click in our soul now. Say one flesh. Please say one flesh. But if you come quickly.